Right now we're on this studio on the set, my music video featuring Maya, Boom Boom. Maya just walked in the building. Welcome. Back way, we're about to do this uh, Boom Boom video shoot. Kevin Little and Chris Maya. And it's just, this is my first time. So I know that it's going to be beautiful and great. Even the rain, if it rains, it's going to be beautiful. Happy to be here. Something every man. My name is Ivan Berry and I've been a music executive for the last 33 years in Toronto, Canada. For uh, many years um, I've been the head of A&R and International for BMG and then the merged company Sony BMG. I was a senior partner in a major publishing company by the name of Olay and I'm now the CEO of a music publishing company that's publicly traded in Jamaica called C2W Music. Besides that, I still continue to develop artists, both in Canada and the Caribbean. This week is going to be a great week because I'm also involved in developing what we'll consider to be a globally competitive film company and uh, music video company. And we're here this week. The company is called Milk Vision and is comprised of you know myself and a few extremely young, talented, um, local folks in St. Vincent, Calvert Jones, Frost, Mark Cyrus, and Derek Brin, who also lives in Toronto, Canada. And we're here this week to shoot a fantastic video for Kevin Little and Maya. Um, this song is called Bum Bum. It's uh, by far a smash, very catchy radio song. And I think it's, um, it's globally competitive. And I think both for Kevin and Maya, it's going to be a fantastic relationship because it'll be a hit song once again. You know, I think uh, Maya is a globally successful recording artist for many years, and so is Kevin. And this collaboration between what we consider a North American billboard chart topper and a Caribbean superstar, I think can op only open more doors, doors for young talent in the Caribbean. And frankly, for those executives in America that think that the Caribbean is only about dancehall, reggae, and soca. We have many different genres down here in the Caribbean, many different skill sets. We're taking the inverted pyramid and um, we're turning it the way it's supposed to be, where there are many artists on the top, but the base on the bottom is much broader to support these artists in all different areas of expertise, in all different areas of the music industry. So we're here this week to shoot this fantastic video. We've had some amazing shots Everybody's been really cool on the team, both from America and the Caribbean, and obviously St. Vincent. St. Vincent and the Grenadines is just a gorgeous place, and more importantly, um, per capita, it's got a very high percentage of talented people in all areas, not just artists and songwriters that have developed, but also in the TV and film business and fashion and uh, styling and models, etc. And so I'm excited to be here helping develop these artists. We brought in Lauren, who is Trinidadian by birth but lives in Barbados. And uh, she also handles uh, uh, a carnival band by the name of Zulu International that the likes of Rihanna plays mass with her on a yearly basis, etc. 
So we brought in the big guns to really accomplish what we set out to accomplish, which is to prove to both international artists and obviously Kevin Little being an international superstar, but also local, um, that we can shoot music videos in the Caribbean using Caribbean crews and be globally competitive. And at the end of the day, that's really the end result that we're trying to accomplish. Hey, we are probably what, scene number three today, day two, right here in Bekwe. It's a beautiful day. And we're now about to get some performance shots together. This is like the first time we're actually doing singing the song together. <laughs> On this particular music video with superstars Maya and Kevin Little, I'm down here not only as an executive of Milk Vision, which is the film company that we've started, the content company that we've started, but I'm also here as a drone operator. I have this fun hobby. I have many hobbies. I'm, I have my pilot's license and I'm also a dive master in scuba. And now I'm also a drone operator. It's fun. Um, however, it's, it is also my vision to create content around the Caribbean and show the world the Caribbean from an aerial point of view. The Caribbean is always viewed in a very particular way for tourism reasons. It's a very straightforward eye, sight of line sort of perspective. And I just think that viewing the Caribbean from an aerial point of view is absolutely amazing, stunning, and gives the viewer quite a different image of what the Caribbean and lifestyle in the Caribbean and culture in the Caribbean is all about. Actually, me and Maya were performing in Papua New Guinea, and um, it was the first time I met her, thanks to my booking agent, um, Brad Hemmings, a Caribbean entertainment, who booked us on the same um, show. I got inspired just from the, the energy, the connection that, that I had with her. I so, said, you know, let me try to think of a song for me and her. And I was thinking of um, that uh, for general degree. You made my heart go boom, 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 one, you are boom, two, you are boom, boom. And then um, I was thinking about Bujo and Wayne wonder if loving was a crime, they would have a murder me. And I put the two ideas together and came up with if loving you is a crime. You gotta do the time if you want my boom boom. So, you know, that's how the whole concept came about and I sang it for her. And when I sang it for her, she really liked it and said we should try to record it. She was very excited and we got in the studio. We actually went to her studio in DC at her home. Thank you ready, but you ain't ready to receive.
shooting Kevin's Bum Bum video featuring myself. It's an incredible song. And I'm excited to be here for the very first time. And yeah, I'm, I'm just looking forward to it. This is a video from a thought into a song into a live performance. And this is probably like the icing on the cake to actually get the visual done. So here in Big Way, Bum Bum. Kevin and I met in Papua New Guinea and performed for the very first time on the same bill. And we were there raising money for a school and a hospital, as well as doing a show. So during the boat ride to Babaka, which is a village there where the school and the hospital were being built, he came up with an idea and said, you know what, we should do a song together. And he came up with the hook on the spot. My crew heard it, his crew heard it, they were like, yeah, that's hot. So a couple of months later, his wife Jackie and himself came to my hometown, Washington DC, and we finished the rest of the song with his engineer producer guy from New York. And it became a full song from his original idea, which was a hook. And then in February, on Valentine's Day to be exact, we performed the song and debuted it at the Antigua Reggae Fest. Music is life, Reggae Fest. And now, a couple of months later, we're here in the Quay. St. Vincent is where he's from, shooting the video. Uh, uh, right, we're doing um, wrapping up the scene in Amitabha Bekwe, Kevin and Maya's Bum Bum song video, and we just did the final scene. I've been called. We're working. We're working. This one is happening. It's yeah. real. Back to you, it's too. Yeah, yeah. Cover the time to come to you. Guys, hey, behind the scenes, on it. These guys are doing a fantastic job. The video shoot went full effect. Um, you know, bits of ups and downs with the weather and stuff like that. But you know, it's lovely, lovely place, lovely music, two lovely artists. Expect great things. I'm Kathleen Oliver. Um, house manager. I'm in Tava House, lobby. Um, as you would see, we are high-end clientele. You know. It was nice having you guys. First time in the show business for us here, but um, we look forward to seeing you again and even for the more marketing. Yeah, my name is um, Kieran, but um, most people here know me as King King. Um, I lived my entire life in Beckway. I grew up here as a small kid. Well, even before I was born, my parents were here, and um, I lived a few years in Europe when I was grown up just for experience, but I grew up here every year of my life. And since about 10 years, I've been the managing director of the Old Fort. And um, growing up, I've seen a lot of, we've received a lot of award, awards all over the world in different magazines. We're one of the most recognized properties in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And basically, um, we were in a travel channel actually just a year or two ago on extreme vacation homes and on the season premiere of um, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Island Secrets, as well as show on the travel channel. Uh, we were in a lot of Conninus magazine, New York magazine, all those. We run it as a boutique hotel, um, not open to the public, only for guests staying here. And this coming season we're planning on opening on the, re the restaurant as well for, uh, for guests not staying here, but it will be by reservation only. <laughs> I know the rooms are really interesting. I've never stayed in a room with uh, open windows you know, or, or an open area and stone. So it's definitely reminiscent of a fort inside. Mm -hmm. It feels like a fireplace should be in there. I'm not going to say spirits or anything like that, <laughs> but in energy is definitely. Yeah, the vibe. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was cozy, though. I fell asleep <laughs> with the windows open. Just you fell asleep? In my, yeah, in my, in my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> 
doing the final stage right now. Maya downstairs, we at um, Old Fort, the King King, at the Fort, that's a guest house for, um, hotel. <laughs> and Maya is downstairs getting ready to shoot our last bits and I'm about to head out and go down to the wharf to shoot my last scene. Well, this is day two of a Bum Bum video shoot right here in Piquet. It's been awesome. Everyone is very calm, demeanored, very professional. You know, we're putting in long hours, overtime and all of that. We get to eat together, go to dinner together. But it's a little craziness because we got to keep it, keep it on time with the clock. Miss Maya, you're my designer. Everything you do keeps taking me higher. Yo, welcome back. Behind the scenes with me and Maya. Music video, boom boom. Right now I'm tired, I'm freaked out. I'm, I've lost my hat and found it back. I've lost the sunglasses and found it back. Lost the dress that Maya had on and found it back. And we've just been exhausted. We missed one boat and we have to hurry to get some shots to get to another boat. But you know, that's the life in show business, you know what I'm saying? Um, right now I feel sticky as hell, but I'm putting on makeup again mm. to get ready to work some more. Um, but basically I wanted to talk to you all about my new album coming called The Diplomat, which is really an album that tells the story of what my career has been about for the past 10 years, which is me performing all over the world and telling people a lot about my country and getting people familiar with a country called St. Vincent and the Grenadines. You know, being the most successful artist from my country uh, in terms of international fame, um, you know, it, it kind of is a mantle that, that fell on me um, without me trying. <laughs> uh, so, you know, what I've done, I've, I've compiled an album that basically is, um, is me working with the biggest names in a lot of major countries. Sweden, for one. I have one of the most known local acts in Sweden, a group named Medina. I also have um, Meyer on there. I got Florida on there. That's some of the names that you may know. Um, I got a lot of Latin stars on there. Right now, Niango Flo is finishing a song with me. Um, I have um, Shaggy on there. I have Red Rat. I have Cyclone, Diva Brat, yo, just to name a few, you know, there's, there's just a lot of collaborations. There's, there's um, King James from Rwanda, um, there's uh, Minmi from Japan. So, you know, the album is going to be very um, mixed up, very just um, a callaloo, as we just say in the Caribbean, with so much different things mixed in and cooked up together. And I think it's going to be something very, very inspiring and different for the music industry you know what i'm saying so i want to get everybody excited and looking forward to seeing this album you know what i mean actually the guys from sweden medina they are also producers they produced the record that i did with them um king james in africa rwanda these guys they they have their producers in-house the song was actually recorded there in a little box studio in africa in the ghetto we got to record um you know, uh, I have Parry Jack, who's the producer from St. Vincent, who did the song with me and Maya. Um, there's Benjamin Million with the Florida record. Um, there's Baby G on there, who I've got a record with from Jamaica. Um, and there's a lot, there's just a lot. I can't, I can't remember everybody right now, but there's, there's many more interesting people. When I leave here, I get back to Miami, then I go to Haiti the next day. Then I come back from Haiti the day after, the day after. And then I spend a few days, like two or three days in Miami, and then I go to Belgium, Germany, and over to France. Um, and that's all doing shows, and I'm doing some marketing for the album in France because I have an artist from France named Mood that I did a song with. It's a pretty awesome record. That record, um, I'm going over there to start doing some buzz work 
letting people know about the collaboration and stuff in that territory. So, you know, that it's con consistently ongoing and going and going. I have an Australian tour that hasn't come off yet that we're planning for later on this year, among other good things, you know what I'm saying? I'm Jacqueline James Little, Jackie James Little. Um, I wear many hats. I am president of Imara, in, um, Imara Engineering. I'm an engineer, that's my trade. Um, I am also the CEO of Tarapan Records and many other things, but those are the main two. I am, it's, it's, a, it's a real pleasure to be here in St. Vincent right now filming this video with Kevin Little and Maya and I think it turned out fantastic. We've um, when we are presented with doing a music video we normally get together as a, as, a, as a group, as a team you know as I said one of us is based in Toronto so we kind of relate to him after our group meeting but we kind of understood from Kevin and his team that he wanted a bright vibrant video with a very upscale kind of look in terms of the, the house and so on so we, we kind of put together an idea where this, he, he is the guy of the house, he has this mansion and sees a beautiful young lady in Maya on a yacht, beautiful yacht, she's sailing in the waters and you know he, he basically leaves his mansion to go and get her, talk to her, persuade her to come back to his mansion but meanwhile of course being a player he has um, some friends back, some girls back at the mansion and so on which Maya doesn't know about but she gets back there, has a nice afternoon with him but then she discovers that you know after having a lovely romantic time with him there's these girls so she leaves and she gets back to her place and then she goes on a yacht and she sails away and that's basically it in a nutshell we need to we need to also recognize the talent here mm -hmm. the, the, the wardrobe, the wardrobe by, by what, yeah. Kimon, Batiste. Kimon, Batiste. Kimon Batiste and yeah. also Lauren as well from, Bar Bar from, from Barbados, Zulu. from Zulu International mm -hmm. and the models, the models, the models too, they were local excellent. models from Paragon Model Agency, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, they yeah. were excellent. So yeah. professional, they all came along, with, you know, and it wasn't a long time in, in producing and in, in getting the production together and they came together probably in the last week and nailed it. They were, they were looking hot, the clothes look hot, um, so we have real talent here, other than, other than just the singing and, and so on and the music. We really have it. So I think we will do a lot more videos um, and we want to use as many Vincentians as possible and local local talent and product as possible. The weather was a huge setback in terms of the skies because we were looking to achieve um, a more or less flawless blue looking sky for the video like to match with the, with, with the whole turquoise sea look uh, you know but um, the skies were all white and overexposed so it was very difficult to pull that off and days prior to shooting the rain was coming like heavy all day so it was very difficult working in those conditions I mean apart from that things 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 came out pretty smoothly yeah, yeah. Kevin did a great job on Maya They're really cool you know there was no problems uh, when we said action they turned on this the charm and became the stars at there and it really really worked out good yep. yeah and um, I think um, the next couple hours and the next day or so of filming is going to be fun and it's, it's, it's going to be a, a really great video. Can't wait to watch it myself, to watch the end result. You know? Yeah, and the behind the scenes. Yeah, the behind the scenes. <laughs> Turn it up and the river will flow Boy, you're blessed to know that 
Sealy. I'm here with Tarakon Records, head of A&R, marketing, business development, and uh, we're on the island of St. Vincent for the Maya Kevin Little Boom Boom video shoot. Um, my role with Tarakon gives me an opportunity to interact with Caribbean artists and develop the talent that's coming out of the region and giving them an opportunity to really showcase on the international stage. Um, it gives me a lot of pleasure, uh, me being from Trinidad myself. Um, seeing our talent get that opportunity um, to really take our music, our culture and a message out into the world um, it's, something, it's something real special and Tarakan is all about that we have partnered with a number of companies in Europe, in North America and uh, in the Caribbean to really connect all of the dots and ensure that the, the, the artist is represented um, in a very professional manner with efficiency and definitely we are going to deliver results. The experience on Beckway was phenomenal. We got there, we had food, the people, the, everybody was so welcoming. Um, we did the music video in a, in a gorgeous setting, beautiful, beautiful environment and um, we just want to say thank you to the people of Beckway, thank you to the people of St. Vincent for giving us the opportunity to come here. Kevin is from St. Vincent originally and uh, I mean get any opportunity he gets to come back and uh, give back something to the, the, the country he takes and uh, you know I, I, I'm just pleased to be part of that team, pleased to have an opportunity to contribute something to the, the landscape of Caribbean music, the Caribbean art, art form and, and artistry on the whole. Once again, we're here in St. Vincent. Thanks a lot for having us. We hope to be back again. Team Tarakon. Of all the people that help sponsor and um, provide stuff for the video, you know, Amitab um, Villa here in Beckway, um, uh, Old Fort, my boy King King, Jack's Bar, Admiral 2, Rent and Drive, my restaurant, of course, on the mainland, chilling. Yeah, we're about to go have dinner there. I'm going to take Maya up and we're going to hang out there for a little bit too. Um, you know, Rick's Renters gave us the cars that got us going around on the island right now. So, you know. I'm big up in season Galaxy Crichton doing the behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? Hello, my name is Alexi Crichton uh, with AC Zinc, 24-hour supermarket, uh, Golden Consultancy Group. Um, with regard to the shoot, uh, the Kevin Atlan Meyer video shoot. Um, my entity, Trending Productions, was contracted by Milk Vision to handle the behind the scenes um, aspect of the project, um, which I was very much, um, I feel very fortunate to be a part of it. And um, we're working feverishly to get the best product done in the given space of time. Um, I pulled on board Mr. Rohan Morgan, who is our cameraman and also editor of the behind the scenes um, shortened version, and then went on to bring in Mr. Junior Lee, who is the editor of the behind the scenes extended version. Uh, two of St. Vincent's young and talented in the industry of a video in this country. Hi everyone, I'm Candice Seeley. I'm a marketing and public relations consultant at Ignite. As it relates to Tarakon Records, I am one of Kevin Little's publicists. This weekend we are in beautiful Beckway, you know, filming the music video for his latest single, Boom Boom. It's Kevin Little featuring Maya. There are many corporate entities that contributed significantly towards the realization of this video shoot. Hi, you will hold your own. Thank you to Shafia, 
Kelvin and the rest of the team, Admiral 2 for transportation of the vehicles, Amitab Villas and the Old Fort Estate. The Old Fort Estate is so relaxing and tranquil. The Amitab Villa, wow, huge mansion, very luxurious. That view from that pool, fantastic. Thanks to you guys. The Reef um, restaurant as well as the apartments. When I had the conch, I had the lobster, the tuna sandwiches, the grilled fish absolutely delicious mariners hotel you've been so patient with us thank you very much blue lagoon mr kelly glass his catamaran was actually used in this music video so thank you to him he was up so early on the sunday morning and he came down and he brought down the models and our makeup people and the fashion designers etc so thank you so much to him mr chad miners we used his boat as well in this shoot so thank you to him as well Ricky's Rentals, Rent and Drive, and Samuel Tool Rental. We couldn't have gotten around in Bekwe without you, so your support is greatly appreciated. Along with all of their sponsors, we also would like to thank ACs Inc. and Golden Consultancy. When you're traveling back and forth past Kaliakwa and you feel a little peckish, you go into ACs Inc. and pick up your little munchies. If you run out of anything, you can go there. You can even do major shopping right there at ACs. So we're very grateful to them as well. Chillin. Now, Chillin is owned by Kevin Little, his wife, as well as his brother in law. It's located upstairs, Trotman's, where Bounty used to be. And the food is great the pizza oh my goodness i can't stop talking about the pizza when you bite into that pizza you really want to have more and a breakfast is not the same without having it at chilling that breakfast special with those fluffy pancakes bacon eggs tea and coffee for that amazing price of nine dollars and 95 cents you can't afford to miss that there are some really great signature cocktails really nice relaxing environment and best of all free wi-fi so you can dine and still check your facebook your twitter your instagram go on the internet etc this is the world premiere of kevin little featuring maya's newest project uh, it's called boom boom and um, produced by milk vision and I hope you enjoy it.